Pop is in charge. Here we go, giving it our best shot, making a hit. Joseph likes scrambled eggs, Seth likes a fried egg. So, doing my best here, trying to figure this out. <laughs> True love, you make it look easy. You make it look easy. Okay guys, you can come eat. I like spicy. I love spicy. Spicy food is my friend. Does that, does that I want more? All right, cups are ready. Uh, on your left, we got the ladies' cups in blue for the running shoe giveaway, and then on the right for the guys, the red, and this will help us stay organized for the giveaway. 7 p.m. Mountain Time tonight. Oh, it's going to be fun. At least 10 pairs of running shoes will be given away, so come back tonight live here on the YouTube channel. And then, all right, the boys and I, we're heading out to run some errands. Let's do this. Oh, man, good. It's going to be so fun. Oh, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Happy April. By the way, how was your, uh, this is not the question of the day, but how was your month of March for running? Let us know down in the comments. Mileage, kilometers, vertical gain. I think I was at about 300 and maybe about 320 miles. So I'm feeling, feeling good about that. Feeling real good. All right, here we go. Good job, guys. In pursuit of some samples. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Whoa. Okay. Figuring it out. Figuring it out. I got a Perfect. Perfect. Here we go. Good job. Put it up. Good job. Definitely throwing my breathing out the window today. Oh man, I wish you could see this hill right now. Holy smokes, getting heavier. Resting is done, time for dinner. Uh, got the schedule planned out for the next two to three weeks, you know, roughly. Again, just listening to the legs and uh, just a good rest day on a Sunday. Three miles, 5K, bopping along, 10, 30 pace, pushing those boys. They're getting heavier. They are getting heavier. All right, I'm gonna tell you the uh, little April Fool situation here in a minute out in the studio, but all is well. I'm just, um, just a big fan of sitting down 
and then just putting those legs up, drinking a little vino, ah, oh, just relaxing, just relax. It's like a key, key component to any training cycle, if you know what I mean. All right, dinner. You can keep them. And just a fine, fine Sunday. I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you got in a long run or was able to relax and chill out a little bit. A, a good combination of hard work and relaxing, right? That's what the weekend's all about. Today, I chilled out. You saw me in on the, the, uh, the recliner there, just relaxing, drinking a glass of wine. And I would strongly recommend that once a week, one day a week, you either walk, you either swim, you bike, or you just bop along. Just bop along, especially as the volume and the intensity of your training goes up and up and up. We all need that little reset, at least I do. I need that little reset every week because I know tomorrow morning when I wake up, when you're watching this Monday morning, I'm going to wake up and I'm pretty confident. We will see, but I'm, it's almost guaranteed tomorrow morning I'm going to feel pretty refreshed. Not perfect, but even if I can approach 90% of freshness, I feel I feel like I can take on the next week of training. So that's just my little my little strategy that I take every week. Okay, uh, <laughs> I've been, um, I don't want to say duped, but we'll just put it in the April Fool's category. April Fool's, Fool's category. Reebok, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I will always always correct myself if I give out bad information here on the vlog. Last time it happened, I think it was in November, I gave you the wrong drop on a Hoka. I think it was the Clifton 5, and I just gave out, it was the incorrect drop. I think I said 8 and it was 6, or maybe it was 6. Anyway, I gave out the wrong drop. Well, sure enough, I gave out the wrong drop on this Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro last week. Uh, maybe three or four people caught that. Thank you, by the way, for letting me know down in the comments. I said it was six millimeter it's actually three millimeter but look at where I got my information Reebok.com what are you trying to do to me Reebok oh so maybe I don't know what's going on Reebok if you're listening you got to update your website so all the other websites that I went to check have this shoe at a three millimeter drop and I would say I'm still a little like I measured it myself and yeah I I would agree it's three millimeter but if you're not like taking the the upper completely off, it is a little difficult in my opinion to get a really accurate measurement of the midsole and the drop and everything. But anyway, just want to correct myself on that. Reebok, you win. April Fools on me. So, all right. So, just correction there, and another quick correction that uh, popped up. Oh gosh, maybe three weeks ago. Basically, uh, innovate. This is their Arctic Claw shoe with the micro spikes on the bottom. And I said that this outsole was a graphene outsole. That is not correct. It is their normal outsole, their normal rubberized outsole from Innovate. The Mud Claw is the graphene, the new and updated graphene uh, outsole, which is supposed to be very, very stout and tough and durable. So I'm still putting this shoe through the paces, but just wanted to update you on that. This outsole is not graphene based on the Arctic Claw. All right. Moving on, here we go. Ran in the Ultra Torrens today. You know how I like to use these shoes for my recovery day. Oh, they just stretching that calf out, stretching the soleus out. I love these shoes for a recovery day. Uh, three miles today. And tonight in the studio, we're going to keep it a little simpler. So that is all I have for you. But the key word, shoes, because tonight, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, we're giving away running shoes live here on the channel. So make sure you mark your calendars or hit the bell down below uh, so you get notified when I go live. 7 p.m. Mountain Time, that's Colorado, Denver time, and we're going to give away running shoes. Some of them brand new, some of them uh, gently used, and question of the day, will you be able to make it to the live stream? That's option number one. Option number two, do you have a solid green? Great, funny April Fool's Day story. Let us know down below. Oh man, I'll, I'll be excited if there's a fun, a couple funny stories from April Fool's Day down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to see you tonight. So with that said, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. And I'm not going to say see you tomorrow. I'm going to say see you tonight, 7 p.m. Oh, it's going to be fun right here in about 10 hours or whenever you're watching this. Five hours, three hours, two hours, whatever. All right. See you.